Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Iron Man episode. I'm currently just killing some of these tortoises because I need some shells so I can make some tortoise pouches to do our Raxor. Uh, but I'm actually not going to use my royal crossbow as you might have seen in my last episode. It did actually break and I can't be arsed getting it back again. So I'm just going to try and use the Sun Spear. It's tier 78 so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Uh, also, it's been monthly reset so I'm going to go and do the troll invasion as well as I'm going to open the oyster. And hopefully we can get something good from that. So I'm actually just going to complete like a full inventory of this and then I'll open the oyster and do the troll invasion. Alright, let's see what kind of shit we're going to get this month and we get, oh my god, 123k. I can't remember what I got last week, but uh, last month, but I mean it can't be much better than that. Well, at least the fishing experience from this monthly is absolutely insane. I got like 65k and I hit 86 fishing as well, so we're doing good on that front. Just got 65,000 Erblore experience from the troll invasion. I'm going to keep putting it in Erblore all the way until 96 because boosting with brown spice is actually quite annoying. So that's why I'm still putting it in Erblore. I was actually thinking about putting it in farming because I hate that skill, but I think 96 Erblore is something I should go for first. Here we go, this is going to be 66 farming and this is something that's really, really really surprised me. Now, I used normal compost, not even super compost, and I planted six yew trees, I think it is, and uh, none of them died except one. And no, I did not pay the gardener either, so five out of six made it. So that is some awesome stats right there. I don't know, I expected a lot more than that to die, but... I'm happy with the results, let's just plant it again, and uh, the reason why I'm not using super compost is because it's annoying to make, that's, that's literally it, I do not want to do farming whatsoever and making super compost is one of those things that's just extra work, I don't wanna do it man. But now we hit 66, so farming, let's see if we unlocked anything, nope we didn't, but in one level I can plant these which I can't pronounce, Kadantines, exactly. Oh, I just realized that Araxor currently has spider minions blocked, so it's really easy now, like path 2 and 3 at the same time is super easy, and using the sun spear is not going to be an issue whatsoever, and I can just use sharks for this because I don't have any cavefish left, I have 5. So anyways, I think it's going to be completely fine, and I'm going to do some Araxor now. Alright, so this is the first loot that I got from kill number 20 of Araxor. Now I can feel the difference between the Sun Spear and the Royal Crossbow, but as you can see in my inventory I have a decent amount of food left, so it's not going to be an issue between the kills, like I will still be able to get the kills. So let's do another one. I feel like the kill number 21 is going to be the lucky one, so can we get... Yeah, oh my god, that is awful. Actually, that's a lot of Saradomi brews. I'm, I have like 25 left in the bank, so I'll definitely take that. Oh, and by the way, I've seen a lot of you guys say that I should do Kiln for Onyxes. The thing is, Kiln was massively buffed. I did try it out, and that shit is impossible without tier 90s. I promise you. It is crazy. I did try it with Overloads. I didn't even get past, like, wave 20 or something. It's insane, and I did use a lot of Saradomi Bruce as well. So I think the best way of getting Onyxes is actually a Raxor, as it also gives two at the same time. And I'm really craving one of those drops. As soon as I get that, I get Amulet of Souls and I get Death Touch Bracelet. And look at my current gloves. Yeah, they suck. Can we have some Onyx as this kill then? That will be absolutely amazing. Let's see what we get. And we get... Wow. Not even any charms. What kind of loot is this? This is like... Actually, this isn't worth a Dwarf Reed Seeds, but it's pretty bad. It's a new day now, so I have a new Sharpshooter Aura as well as the Enrage has been reset, so I would love some Onyxes now, so I can get my Amulet of Souls and my Death Touch Bracelet. Oh my god, yes, fucking finally! It's been so long, come on. I've done like, actually, it's, it's not been that long, but let me see how many Araxi kills I have. Let, let's look at this now. That, this is, this means a lot more than you guys might realize. 23 kills, and I have my two Onyxes now. That is a 100, wait, is, do you start on 100% charge on the Amulet of Souls and stuff? I don't know. I'll, you know what, I'll bank that. Wait, I don't have enough sp bank space. Alright, I'll take them. Anyways, um, that's the, that's the Amulet of Souls and Death Touch Bracelet. That's an upgrade from tier 75 hybrid and my Dragon Rider Amulet to tier 90 jewelry best in slot. Sweet. This is so beautiful, like look at this, I'm going to cut my two Hydrixes now, I put the Onyxes on, granted it looks really ridiculous, like how the uh, overall look of them is when you put the Onyx on, but hey whatever, it doesn't mean shit. So anyways, I do have the two Hydrixes now, this is the Amulet of Souls, and this is the Death Touch Bracelet, I'm not sure exactly how you make them, but I'm going to figure that out now. 
So apparently you need to have a gold bar and you need to make it into a bracelet. Now, there you go. That's the one I want to do. So let's craft one of those and get some neat crafting experience. Oh, that was shitty experience. There we have the Hydrix bracelet and when I enchant it now it should turn into the death touch one. So, how much magic? 97. Now, I really want to see how much charge this has. Death touch bracelet. Check charges. Ooh, it hasn't been used yet. So 100%. That is some awesome stuff. Wow, we just got a tier 90 hybrid bracelet from having the War Priest ones. That is some sexy shit. Now I just need to figure out how to make the necklace. Now as I knew I was going to have to boost to 99 crafting, I did actually collect a lot of these orange spies. So let's see if we can get 99 crafting. 98, come on! But I actually have like uh, 10 of these with 4 doses, so we should be doing good. And I get 97. Like, come on game, can I get 99 now? This, this is going to be it. No, one more. Alright, get me that 99. 97 still? Come on, man. Can we get this boost? And this is going to be the boost. No. 95. You bitch, I need to go and get more. Look at all of these containers. All of these were filled. Now I have one left, two spices, and I already have one in here, so... If I don't get 99 here, I need to go back and collect more, which is going to suck so bad. So I'm going to be ready to log out if I get 99 now. Oh, and I get 95. Alright, time to go with, uh, well, spend some time with my cat and collect the spices I need. I cannot understand the logics of this. Every single time I go here and I try to get brown spice because I need an herb lore boost, I'm like, what are all these yellow spices? What are all these orange spices that I get? Now that I go here and I want orange spices, look what I get! Brown spice? Brown spice? What is this? Jagex, stop it. Oh, orange spice. It actually did take some time to get that boost, but we do have it now, so let's make the amulet, craft that real quick, so we get it done with. So there we go, I have it now, and I should be doing this, I think. There we go, Hydrix amulet, it's about to be done, guys, let's uh, enchant it, and get that sexy, sexy amulet of souls, oh, buddy. It's actually worse prayer bonus, I didn't know that. Oh, it's because it's like, really overpowered prayer bonus on this one. Well, there we go. I now have Amulet of Souls and I have Death Touch Bracelet from one Araxor drop. It's pretty cool that that happens sometimes, but it's now done. So now as I didn't have any Sharpshooter Aura left because I spent so much goddamn time trying to get those spices and making those tier 90 jewelry stuff, I'm actually going to try to do some Vindicta now because I do have the Amulet of Souls which is going to help out a lot. And I did actually go over 90 defense since the last time I tried so I can actually use my Celestial Hand Wraps which I feel like is more worth using now instead of my Death Touch Bracelet because I don't need any Onyxes to recharge these because they cannot be recharged. So what I'm going to be doing is Vendicta for at least my Reaper assignment, which is like, I think it's 7 kills. So I will be doing that, and the, the, the means of this is to get the Lance, right? The Lance is the really, really good thing I want to get from this, because if I do get it, I can do so much Twin Furies on my own, and I can replace that goddamn Carol's Coif with an actual tier 80 Power Helm if I do get that sometime. So that's why I'm going to be doing this, so let's see if I can get anything good from Vendicta. I am not bullshitting, the first drop that I get is an anima core body. No joke, look at my aura, 56 minutes, I just drank my first overload dose. We're off to a good start guys. Even though I really don't need this, it's still sexy, it's really really sexy ass drop. Interesting, so I just got a Sarosian essence, now I do have a Samrak one in the bank, so if I do get, I think it's a Sliski one and the Seren one, I can actually upgrade one of my tier 80 items that I have, like the ranged one, uh, up to 85. Now then, when it degrades, it's going to, it does degrade when it's actually 85, it will degrade down to tier 80 again, so it's always worth doing it, I guess, so... I guess that's pretty cool, I got one more of those. Alright, so we're going to conclude the trip with getting some uncut diamonds. Overall though, I was really lucky with the drops, like look at this, I got two rune kite shield drops, and that itself is like 700k, no joke, like 32,000 times 21. If my math is correct, that's like 670k, I'm going to guess. So yeah, it's pretty damn good, but overall, I'm happy with the results. I also finished my Reaper assignment like two kills ago, so I got 15 Reaper points for that. 
neat. So yesterday some people in my friend chat advised me that I can just, as I already have three ascension signets, try to get the last three and then make that ascension crossbow. And when I have that main hand ascension crossbow, I can just get the tier 80 chaotic crossbow offhand one from Dungeoneering. And in that case, if I do get all that done, I have a tier 90 main hand and a tier 80 offhand, which is good enough to do a Raxor really efficiently. Like, compared to the Sun Spear or the Royal Crossbow, it's really good. So I thought I already have three signets, I'm halfway there, and I'm working towards Wild Guthic Sleeps anyways, which is a requirement to be able to get the Ascension Crossbow overall. I was like, why not just do it? Because, sure, it's going to be quite some time and it's luck based, but it's still good, like, I'd rather spend time doing this, getting some defense experience at the same time, you know, killing ascension creatures, and then also maybe get, you know, some Sirenic scales from all the legions, or maybe even the ascension creatures I'm killing, and just overall benefit from that, and then get the tier 90 in the end, instead of actually spending all that time killing QBD and getting my tier 80 back. So that's what I'm going to do, and I do have some keys here that I farmed yesterday. So I will be doing the Secundus ones, the Sextus ones, and the Quintus ones, because that uh, is the three signets I still miss. So let's see if we can get anything. Well, we didn't really get anything interesting from the few keys that I did have, but it's mostly to just let you guys know that I will probably be farming a lot of keys, and I will be doing the Quintus one, the Sextus one, and the Secundus one. That's the ones I'm really hunting for, so hopefully we can get some luck with that and get the crossbow sooner than later. Holy shit! Do you guys see this? Look at the amount of food I have left now that I changed to Amulet of Souls and Death Touch Bracelet. I think it's mostly the Amulet of Souls though, because like when I swap over to Soul Split when I use my Threshold abilities, it heals so much and I save so much food. I'm so happy I have this now. Honestly, this was absolutely amazing to get. So let's see what we get from this body, hopefully something good. And it's absolute shit. Dwarfweed seeds, that's probably the worst thing we could get. Awesome start. Well, it's official. I saved so much food now and supplies from this. This is absolutely amazing. I love this Amulet of Souls. Anyways, let's see what the second loot is. And we get some water talismans. Alright, I'll take it. Can we have a leg piece on this one, please? That would be great. Uh, Alright, I mean, I'm pretty broke right now. I have 220k, so that's like... I just tripled my bank value in money, so that's sweet. Now that is going to be the fourth and the final kill for this day because my aura has three minutes left and I really do not want to do this with Sun Spear without the Sharpshooter Auras. So let's see if we can get anything good from this one. And we get two Onyxes! That is awesome because now, actually one of these Onyxes is 50% recharged on an Amulet of Souls or a Death Touch Bracelet. So this is like a whole new Amulet of Souls. So if I spend- and look at this, I'm also going to show you guys this. This is crazy. I'm going to check charges. Actually, I'm going to check charges on my bracelet because I've only used the bracelet on this boss. Four kills and it dropped 1.2%. So technically, let's say it dropped 1%, right? I could possibly do 400 Araxor kills. Let's say a bit less than that because it was 0.2. Let's say like 380 Araxor kills before it degrades to dust. That is amazing, like 380, that's pretty much all I will need to do to be able to get my noxious weapons, pretty much, like, if I'm on the drop rate. Like, it's insane, so these are just way too good to pass off, and you know, I'm, I just got two Onyxes, and that is 380 more Araxor kills on one of the items, so, just to put in perspective how good that is. But anyways, that is going to have to do it for this episode because I do not really have anything to show you guys for a bit now because I will be AFK in these Rarius for a while, just waiting for Araxor resets. So I will start doing Araxor straight away again when the reset comes and I will be doing 4 kills every single day with a Sharpshooter Aura. I think that's a good amount to do daily. So expect like, if there's 3 days for a video, expect like 12 Araxor kills. So that's how it's going to keep going for a while now I would assume. So anyways, I will be killing in the meantime Rarius for for the keys for Ascension Crossbow. I might be doing some questing for like uh, Wild Guthic Sleeps requirements and I might be doing some skills for just leveling up my account. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode and I'll see you in the next one guys. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it and if you want to see more of my content then please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.